A sea of humanity overflows Venice Square in Rome as the backdrop for a speech that shakes the world. Carrying warlike banners and swastikas, half a million await the dramatic entrance of dictator Mussolini. For minutes, he stands looking down in theatrical silence from the balcony of the Venice Palace. And now these first pictures of Italy hearing the fateful words of war. <laughs> Whipped to war hysteria, Italy is ready to march. Immediately, reaction. The government of Italy has now chosen to preserve what it terms its freedom of action and to fulfill what it states are its promises to Germany. In so doing, it has manifest manifested disregard for the rights and security of other nations, disregard for the lives of the peoples of those nations which are directly threatened by the spread of this war, and has evidenced its unwillingness to find the means through pacific negotiation for the satisfaction of what it believes are its legitimate aspirations. On this 10th day of June, 1940, the hand that held the dagger has struck it into the back of its neighbor. Let us not hesitate, all of us, to claim certain truths Overwhelmingly, we as a nation, and this applies to all the other American nations, we are convinced that military and naval victory for the gods of force and hate would endanger the institutions of democracy in the Western world, and that equally, therefore, the whole of our sympathies lie with those nations that are giving their lifeblood in combat against those forces.